Welcome to Top 10 USA, home of the Rocket Platform. Please follow our replacement procedures and be sure to use appropriate ESD standards and techniques throughout the replacement process. If these procedures are not followed appropriately, damage to your equipment may occur. If your machine is covered under the Rocket Plus subscription and you have any questions or concerns, please open a ticket through the Rocket Platform customer portal. Your first step is to access the group manager of your Dell Equalogic Array. There are two methods to accessing your array. If you already know how to access the Dell Equalogic Group Manager, please skip to 1 minute and 9 seconds. If you are utilizing SAN Headquarters, you will want to open and launch SAN Headquarters. Once SAN Headquarters is loaded, on the left hand side of the page you will see a list of current groups managed by SAN Headquarters. From here you will need to select on the particular group with the current issue. You will right click on the group name and select Launch Group Manager and log in using your login credentials. If you are accessing your Dell Equalogic via a web browser, you will open your web browser and in the address bar, either enter the host name of your SAN or enter the management IP address. Once you see a login prompt, please enter your login credentials. Once you are logged into the Equalogic Group Manager, you are going to need to identify the Equalogic array with the issue. On the left hand side of the page, you are going to select on the particular array that currently has a warning indicator. In the center of the screen, you will see a row of tabs across the top of the page. You will need to go to the Maintenance tab of the Dell Equalogic Array. For the right-hand side of the page, you are going to see a section with some identification information of this array. Be sure to click Start LEDs Flashing, and then make note of the service tag of your Dell Equalogic Array. You will need the service tag and LED indication turned on for any service procedure to identify the faulty SAN with ease. Prior to replacing the physical failed drives, you must first ensure there is no read rebuild currently running. Go back under the Status tab, and toward the top right-hand side of this tab, you will see a RAID status. You must make sure this status reads as either OK or degraded. If you see Reconstructing as the status of the array, you will need to wait until the status is changed to OK or degraded. When replacing multiple failed drives in a Dell Equalogic array, you will need to first identify through the Group Manager which drives are currently failed, and which shelf the failed drives reside on. For you to identify the failed hard drives, you will go under the Disks tab in the Group Manager. From the Disks tab, you can see that the drives in slot 13 and 41 have failed on the top shelf. Using the LED indication you had turned on, locate the array. The array should have every indication light on the machine flashing. Verify that this is the correct array using the service tag from the group manager. The service tag of the array should be located on a sticker in the rear of the machine by the controller slots. Once the array has been identified, you will need to turn off the indicator lights. Enter into the Group Manager and select a member with the failed drives. Open up the Maintenance tab and on the right hand side select the option Stop LEDs Flashing. Now from the front of the Equalogic you will need to unlock the shelf to allow the shelf to slide forward. To unlock the shelf, take a Torx 15 screwdriver and turn the two locking mechanisms in a counterclockwise direction. Now that the shelf is unlocked, slide the shelf forward by pushing the two buttons on each side in while pulling back on the shelf. You are now able to see the drives in slot 13 and 41 are failed. You can verify this by the indicator light that will be amber, while confirming that the indicator light is for the correlating slots you saw in the group manager. Once you can confirm that these are indeed the drives that will need to be replaced, you will need to push the tab of one of the failed drives to the right, releasing the locking mechanism. Once the mechanism has been released, the drive tray will begin to swing up, as it is no longer secured in the slot. Grab the drive tray from the sides and lift straight up to remove it from the slots. Now that the failed drives have been removed, wait approximately 10 to 15 seconds, then you can proceed with inserting the replacement drive. Prior to inserting the replacement drive, push the tab of the drive to the right to ensure it is in the unlocked position. Insert the replacement drive, ensuring it is facing the same direction as the other drives. The drive should seat in 90% of the way before it catches on a spring. This spring is there to ensure the smooth release of drives from their slots once the locking mechanism has been unlocked. Now push down on the drive, and once the drive is flush with the other drives in the array, push the drive tray towards the chassis to lock the drive in place. Now close the drawer by pulling the white tab on the slide toward the front of the chassis while pushing forward on the drawer. You will then hit a locking point in which you will release the white tab and then continue pushing the drawer until it is flush with the rest of the machine. Return to the group manager and confirm that the drive is now showing healthy. 
Prior to replacing the next failed drives, you must first ensure that the replacement has not triggered another RAID reconstruction. Wait approximately 5 minutes, then refresh the GUI to check the status of the RAID. If the status of the RAID is reconstructing, you must wait for the current rebuild to complete before replacing the next drive. If the status of the RAID is degraded or OK, then you are safe to proceed with replacing the next drive. Locate the next failed drive and follow the same procedure that was used to replace the first drive. Repeat this process until all failed drives have been replaced. Return to the group manager and confirm that the drives are now showing healthy. If the array is now back to a healthy status, you are safe to close this call out. If the drive failed to come back online or other issues arise, please contact us directly. Thank you for choosing the Rocket Platform, the revolution in hardware maintenance. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.